Hi there everyone, this is Liz. A warm welcome back to this new video with me and my guides. Today is a Q&A day and I have asked my guides a question in beforehand I recorded this video and they have given me an answer. And I'm going to read this answer to you now. And today's subject is about positivity. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do. And if you like the video, you can give, give it a thumbs up. That helps my work to grow here on the channel. So the question that I asked them goes like this. Can you give some advice on how to get a more positive mindset? to invite more positive events into someone's life and how to keep positivity in life. And the answer goes like this. Yes, that is a really good subject and we would like to talk about this. It is a funny perspective that humans would have lost the origin energy of how to be positive. It is never true because the ability to be and stay positive stems directly from your soul energy, which is full of uplifting and light energy. So therefore, positivity isn't something that are detached from you or something that you need to reach. It is always within you. We see it more like a conditioning that you got when, you, when entering the earth experience and started to live your life there. Most of the time humans get layers upon layers of different alternative personalities really that takes them away from the origin of who they truly are. <clears throat> And sometimes or often this affect the positive and uplifting energy that resides within them naturally. That energy is full of joy, openness and flow. Regarding the conditioning, regarding the conditioning, as an example, you may have had different demands or conditionings from childhood that made you learn to take a huge amount of responsibility. Then in adulthood, you may refuse to stay open to other type of possibilities that your soul wants to lead you into that will give a lot of positive experience and growth. Another example, uh, that is a common thing that, de uh, that de decrease a positive mindset is sorrow and grief. The energy of that is very heavy and are on the opposite scale of light energy and the ability to think positive. No matter what the cause is that makes someone feel separate from their light origin, or make them keep coming back to a negative mindset or refusing to see or choose positivity in their life. They are always given a chance to change the direction with oneself because it is always within you knocking from inside. The energy and origin of positivity is not really a mindset, it is a natural force within everyone. But if you are conditioned to think otherwise, you yourself have to choose to change that and get out of the, that spinning wheel. When it comes to a spinning wheel, it goes both ways. The more the wheel is spinning in one direction, the more you will get of that result, which is um, which the wheel is creating. So to experience more positivity in life, humans need to make sure the wheel is spinning in the right direction. 
meaning that you are aware of how you think, positive or negative. And the more you then increase the positive mindset in every kind of way in everyday life, you will get a faster spinning wheel in that direction. Positivity is an energy that can really do that. But like we said, you humans need to peel off your layers so the natural force of energy can be the leading power in your life. The power of contradiction is strong. If someone has unhealed wounds or traumas that are very heavy inside, this can hinder the positive wheel from turning, partly or fully. If that is the case, you need to heal first and let go of what is burdening you. It all comes down to the summary of what energy exists within and how to the, and how the total energy of someone is. Something else that we can talk about is the learning of a positive mindset or emotions to create more positive events in life. We would say that it differs in it differs a bit between persons how to do this in the best way. We would suggest to start with the most so-called negative area in your life where you feel stuck or where you think or feel the most negative. This can, for example, be regarding self-worth, lack, lack, mentality, lack mentality, relationships, body image or other fears of some kind. Start by recognizing what the negative pattern is and what you usually think or feel. Then contemplate on how you should get the wheel to start spinning the other direction in a more positive way. You can see yourself as the sole mechanic who fixed the, the wheel and then making sure that the wheel runs smoothly every day. From that you will see the result. And once you understand how contagious the positive energy is to the rest of your life, you will never want to stop. You also asked how to keep positivity in life. What is very common for many people is that they stop making sure that the wheel of positive thinking or feeling runs smoothly. You have to do that until it runs as you wish, all by itself, like a natural force. From the time you wake up in the morning until bedtime every day. To make this happen, we would suggest to turn inwards often to your heart and soul, to connect to the true you to the natural light of strength and ease, to keep reminding you who you really are. Because positive thinking without an anchor will not give you a permanent result. It would be like filling an empty bucket with a hole in it. You need to anchor the new ways of thinking with deep meaning and an understanding of your soul's origin, the positive force and strength that you are. That combination will bring result long term. So that was the answer I was, was given today regarding positivity and I'm fascinated by by how they so <laughs> easily bring up the and remind us about who we really are in our soul that 
the light energy we actually are of course it's full of possibilities and positivity because uh, light energy is that by itself right it's nothing that we like they said it's nothing that we have to strive for really or try to reach outside of ourselves it is something that resides within us um, so if we peel off our heavy layers and, and heal from within, the more we can um, be in the natural positivity. And I'm also thinking a bit about, you know, the law of attraction and all the exercises that are being teached all around the world regarding this, where you, um, where you, um, are going to affirm things with certain uh, words and uh, sentences and get into the right feeling and I, I, I agree with that it's not not that I don't agree with it but uh, their perspective now on this subject how to think positive uh, to be able to create your life of course um, comes from more you know the peeling off and the, the reminder the anchoring within into our soul power the soul origin the light and the ease that that energy actually consists of and i'm thinking if you turn inwards and and you feel sorrow for example that is not the soul who carries that grief or that sorrow that is uh, you in this life experience who carry that um, you can have memories from other lifetimes from other parallel existences uh, that also can influence how easily you feel sorrow for example in this life um, but uh, your soul is not grief that is something that has been uh, born for some reason in this life or born may, may be the wrong word but you know what i mean it stems from an experience um, in this lifetime and so don't be afraid of turn inwards to to meet what's in there because the more you do that, the closer you will get to the true you and your ability to stay in that positive uh, energy. And it will be authentic, you know. It will not come from um, a place of uh, strive or um, exercise or, or whatever. It comes just natural it just it just is you know because that is something that you are that uplifting energy full of possibilities uh, love uh, light uh, ease um, and expansion and what is expansion expansion is is uh, don't have you know the soul and the source energy is expansion um, and with that comes positivity into, you know, I see it as um, positivity is a, is a trait or a quality you can have as a human here on earth. But the energy connects to our soul origin, who we actually are and the power that we are actually are connected to in everyday life. So... Uh, all right i i advise you if you think the subject uh, and what they were answering if you think it's interesting uh, listen to the text one more time and maybe listen and stop and listen and stop that's also good when um, all this kind of higher perspective is is being presented so all right um i hope that will help on your positivity journey with yourself 
Uh, I wish you a really good weekend and I'll see you next time when it's time for a new intuitive energy update again. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.